The heat treating process for pallets, crates, and other wood pieces is intended to kill any living organism in the material before export. In this video, we'll talk about when to heat treat, how to heat treat, what a heat treat stamp mark means, and some other cautions to keep in mind when considering heat treating for export. Any kind of wood can be heat treated, new, recycled, reused, repaired, single pieces, bundles, all can be heat treated, but all must be stamped with the correct corresponding stamp. The purpose of heat treating is to kill bugs or any other living organisms so that they won't be given a free international cruise or flight, bringing their sicknesses and diseases with them. Heat treating does not increase the durability or strength of a pallet or crate. Its only purpose is to protect them from bugs. Here are some types of material that are exempt from heat treat inspection. Any type of wood that is less than six millimeters wide. Any wood that has been processed in a way that kills pests like a cigar or wine box. Any type of wood that uses glue, veneer, or processed strand board. A previously heat treated pallet that has not been repaired, remanufactured, or altered in any way and includes a valid certification stamp, corrugate, plastic, or any other non-wood items. Both new and recycled pallets need to be appropriately debarked. Small isolated pieces of bark are allowed if they are less than 3 centimeters wide or with a total surface area less than 50 millimeters, which is about the size of a credit card. After a pallet, crate, or dunnage piece has been appropriately debarked, it then enters the heat treater to be heated to 56 Celsius or 132.8 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Then and only then can the heat treat stamp be applied. If no structural changes have been made to the pallet, crate, or wood piece after being heat treated, they should be able to retain their heat treat status indefinitely. The wheat stamp signifies compliance with the IPPC and will appear to the left of the rest of the stamp information. There is a code that is two letters long that signifies the country of origin. The treatment provider is signified with a combination of digits and letters that uniquely identify it. There will be either an HT or MB marking on the material signifying whether or not it was heat treated or methyl bromide treated. And in the United States, the inspection agency is also included in the stamp information. For each stamp to be compliant for export, it must be durable, legible, visible when in use with no aids, and stamped with black ink because orange or red ink are typically used to identify a hazardous material. If the mark does not meet all these criteria, the packaging item may be subject for confiscation by export authorities. Some companies have been caught with an expired or suspended heat treating license. If you have any questions about a company or their process, be sure to get a copy of their heat treat certificate, which is issued by their inspection agency. That way the agency can confirm or deny the validity of the company's heat treat process. If the company is slow or hesitant to release that information, you know something might be awry. If you need to export a product, heat treating is a great way to go. Now there are regulations, and be sure your packaging company is following the rules that are in place. But once your homework is done and the documentation is finished, happy exporting.